was the dead of night. The witching hour. The wolf howled. And then she heard a scratching at the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. She slowly opened it to reveal a puppy. <laughs> and around its neck was a bone. Gomez. <laughs> you remember when I first told you that one, Boxley? You must have been two months old. Oh, you'd scream and scream until you wet yourself. Some things never change. She's not back yet. She said she wanted to be alone. But how long does that take? There she is. How did it go out there Wednesday? Did Kitty do his business? Indeed. Come, come, join us. We were just telling stories of when Pugsley was born. He kept us up all night howling. <laughs> Wednesday, you were the opposite. I've never heard of a baby being completely silent before. I, I remember the night Wednesday was born. It was a Tuesday. All tucked in tight in the hospital nursery. She was silent as a jellyfish. Even when all the other little babies started bawling. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I... I never told you this story? Start talking. Well, I was looking for a bathroom because I'd eaten all of the patient's pudding that they left behind. When I took a wrong turn into the hospital nursery... I kissed my hand! I kissed my hand! And that's when I spotted it. I just wanted to get a better look at my new niece. But a bunch of the babies started wailing their heads off, so I remembered the age-old Adam family nursery trick. <laughs> and sure enough, they all fell asleep. And I put all the babies back where I found them. I think. Pretty sure. <laughs> Kitty needs a walk. Right away. But I just walked. Vesta, you're in charge. I wonder if I could juggle actual children. Wednesday, Pugsley, bring it in. Let's find out. You never know until you try. <laughs> and if one of you falls on your head, well, lesson learned. Hard to believe women don't want to talk to either of you.